is about less than a foot. You can see those stones next to him to give you an example. That stone that's just behind him is probably, a, the one on the bank is probably about as big as your thumbnail. And, uh, and it's just a perfect little crocodile, don't you think? I must be honest with you, at this particular age, let me show you, there's some sticks, there's some grass next to him. You can see that he's just less than a foot big. Um, compare him, and I'm going to show you now, to a proper sized dinosaur. Chitty Chatty, you want to know how long crocodiles live for? That's an interesting question, Chitty Chatty. It's got all to do with the environment. Being cold-blooded has a lot of, uh, a lot of um, benefits and a lot of uh, 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 negatives. But one of the big benefits is that the, you actually can be quite long-lived being a cold-blooded animal, given the fact that your environment is kind to you. It's not too hot or not too cold. And it's just perfect. Here on the equator, I must be honest, it's just perfect. But some crocodiles in captivity are thought to be upwards of 90 to 100 years old. And that's because they're kept in, in environments where, where they're feeding and they're, the temperature can be monitored. In the wild, I doubt that crocodiles will live longer than about 60 to about 70 years old, to be honest with you. And the, the reason for that is that it's actually quite a tough life. Crocodiles at this particular age, that you're looking at right now are preyed upon by almost anything. Th this, this youngster here will be, will be eaten other crocodiles, big fish, um, a Nile perch will gobble this one up, no problem, not that you get Nile perch in this river, but Nile perch will gobble them up in this area. It, almost all the birds of prey that you can think of, barring the smallest kites and hawks, will be able to take this little guy. And so he's taking a big risk being out in the open. The only reason I can think that he's in the open is that with the superabundance of carcasses around at the moment, that he's managed to scavenge himself a big meal. He needs to, on a cold day like this, he needs to spend a lot of time out of the water. But that's also not uncommon for young crocodiles to spend a lot of time out the water hunting for insects. At this particular, at this particular uh, uh, age, they will be hunting for insects. But can I please ask to go to Dusty? There's something interesting happening with a giant crocodile there. I'll come back to the small one. Quite often we ask the question, do plovers pick the teeth of crocodile? And have a look at that. We've got a three-banded plover making its way to a crocodile who's just opened up his mouth. Now, this is what that youngster is going to turn into in a couple of years' time. This is one of these river giants. Not the biggest crocodile I've ever seen. This one here is probably about 10 feet long and giving us a beautiful uh, view of how streamlined these animals actually are. You know, when you really look at a shark, when, 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 when you take away the fear of, of what the shark uh, instills in you, and you take away the fear of what a crocodile instills in you, and you have a look at them, they are the most beautifully uh, evolved creatures. Obviously, that crocodile thought that bird is not going to clean my teeth today, and so he closed his mouth. The reality is, of course... <laughs> Uh, Chantal, I'll answer your question about teeth now in a second. Um, the reality, of course, is that this crocodile was not waiting for the bird to clean its teeth. Uh, the reality is, is that the crocodile sheds excess heat um, by opening up its mouth. So this crocodile is bouncing his body temperature, his metabolism off of a maximum threshold. The sun is obviously warm. He's spread himself out nice and flat. And you can see how flattened his limbs are, not only to make him streamlined in the water, but also to create a flat surface perpendicular to the sun, which allows, uh, which allows him to, uh, to, to absorb as much heat as possible. Um, and not so that the bird could pick, tea, uh, could pick its teeth clean. I have heard the same folklore. I, I, I cannot disprove it. And I'm hoping... Point, I'll be able to show you a bird uh, picking the teeth clean of the crocodile. Now, to answer Chantal's question about do crocodile replace uh, or regrow teeth, um, Cantrell, excuse me, not, uh, not Chantal. Um, yes, as far as, I, as far as I know, they do replace lost teeth. Um, I don't exactly know how. It's not like maybe now we'll be able to see this bird pick this teeth clean. Come on, do it. You can do a little bird. That's a three-banded plover for those of you who don't know what that bird is. And we are hoping, I'm holding my thumbs here, that this little bird decides to come and pick some morsels from between this crocodile's teeth. Come on, you can do it. Crocodile inviting the bird in. I don't quite know if I would be so brave. 
Um, I don't know how, other than, than, than perhaps these crocodile's teeth get replaced very similar to our own, with the exception that while we only have milk teeth and adult teeth, and once they're gone, they're gone, crocodile maybe regrow teeth out of their, 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 their top jaws? I'm not too sure. I'm sitting at the moment with as much, info, or as much literature as I have available to me on crocodile teeth. I obviously don't have access to the internet where I'm sitting right now. But uh, perhaps one of you could just research if crocodile have a never-ending source of teeth or whether or not they get their adult teeth at a point and they're just so robust and so magnificent that they never chip, break or, uh, or otherwise erode until the crocodile dies of old age. Looks like that bird is not interested in coming through to this particular crocodile. Have a look at